नमस्ते डॉक्टर नमस्ते शाली स्टार्ट या या इन इन दिस इन दिस टेक्स्ट ऑर्डर्ड बाय पॉल हैलमोस दे स्टार्ट विथ सेट फंक्शन मेशर थियरी बाय पॉल हैलमोस हाँ ओके सो इन दिस टेक्स्ट बुक ही स्टार्ट्स विथ सेट्स एंड क्लासेस एंड देन प्रोग्रेसेस टू द measures and all that hmm. graduate graduate text in mathematics paul paul or halmos yeah i think theory. that was one of our reference books when i studied in my uh, uh, probably this would be one of the reference books because when i went through the syllabus of some universities they have given this as the reference book uh, only the I, prescribed book may be the some cohen was the author i think for him ha huh. anyway doesn't matter anyway measure theory is measure theory everywhere yeah, but i find this text was slightly difficult to handle yeah yeah tell me i don't know from where to start because um uh, because i don't know anything about this no what is measure okay what is measure measure means what measure means um something that we used to uh... see i can measure the length oh. i cannot measure a point nothing is there for a point in mathematics measure starts only when there is a line okay the length is a measure mm. so in mathematics measure means i have to measure the length one N- next one there are three lines i can make a triangle so the measure the area ha huh. and number of triangles can add to make it to a square rectangle different polygons then circle so it's all area okay when it comes to two dimension hmm. when it comes to three dimension it becomes volume okay but in mathematics measure comes when i have a line last time also we said when we have a curve going like this we want to approximate it by segments rectangle where i can measure but no curve can be uh, made into smaller pieces where i can measure it in three dimension it becomes as becomes a volume ha oh, okay volume but when you have a x axis a curve drawn you hmm. cannot take the area just below the curve which is called integration hmm. you cannot do it therefore what do we do last time also when we were discussing we have uh, made that curve into pieces of pieces lines of rectangles lines the curve into pieces of lines hmm. so that under the curve when you consider it will become a triangle plus a rectangle ha ah, okay It's including ve- the line yeah it's very simple see below a curve you wanted to measure the area there is no method so what do you do you have a curve and you have to measure the area under this the only methodology is create a a you no know, rectangle like this and consider this as the nearest triangle which covers that so once you do that integration becomes a measure of area a two dimensional integration with the two parameters becomes a volume so that is why we can take the cone and then integrate with x and y integral of x integral of y and what you get to becomes the volume very simple now you are a statistician you are a, not a mathematician you also learn lot of times the measure mm. when you have a probability distribution function measure of central tendency that is also measure ah uh, measure what are you measuring there you take a central line and then say whether the right and the left is behaving properly mm-hmm. skewness is a measure of skewness is a measure kurtosis uh, is a measure 
see probability uses lot of measure for which you need a volume computation you need a behavior of the curve so the measure theory is one of the most important subject in mathematics were because mathematics is its measure there is nothing other than measure so how do you do assume that you want to do it in a continuous function it becomes integral so okay. measure theory has got a integral portion hmm. but then that is called calculus integration okay, okay. so in discrete functions because we are talking about calculus functions will come differentiation integration one range to one domain there is a function happening now that function happens to be a discrete function discrete function means there is nothing continuous hmm. in between there are gaps so what are we doing when you have got a continuous function we are discretizing it hmm. to compute okay correct so correct. like in integration we learn rayman stieltjes integration uh -huh. that is the portion is cut into pieces and then see how the curve behaves all that can be done <coughs> now in the discrete function it is called a sum so capital sigma sigma of fx and or mu of x if it is a function generally we put sigma if it is a parameter we say mu it's all measure so it comes in complex analysis it comes in calculus it comes in probability theory and measure theory the probability theory after that immediately is measure theory right yeah. what is the measure of probability generally we ask the measure itself probability itself is a measure hmm. got it so measure theory has got lot of applications with this concept you start reading measure theory you will understand oh this is so simple understood see unfortunately we had a great uh, subject called mathematics in which measure theory was one of the greatest portion one um, a great professor was teaching us but horrible horrible means i don't think he must have understood what is measure like this no see now what happens assume that you have a two dimension which you cannot measure like okay. earlier we have seen we have a two dimension or three dimension which you cannot measure what do we do we project it on to a one dimension and uh -huh. compute it there and go back okay so this also have got and why do you start with a set and a such measure because everything starts with the set theory whether it is contained here whether it is contained there okay whether um, uh, whether we can have a generalization from the set whether we can go to a union so union of set will come whether a belongs to this portion or not is what we are checking when we are checking whether the uh, wh whether the function is inclusive or not inclusive all this have to be measured it's very very simple you just read the uh, maybe the chapter headings i'll tell you each one of them See, actually, I don't even have anything with me now. Um, it's, it's okay, doctor. I yeah. have the material with me, but yeah. uh, so okay. it talks about now. What is measure theory? If you ask, it is geometry. It is probability theory. It is uh, understand the functions, analysis of functions, calculus, dynamics. Okay. Everything is part of measure theory. Okay, okay, doctor. If I interrupt you, then how can you actually uh, define measure in two lines in the simplest possible manner? That you the quantifying anything is called a measure. I have to measure the temperature of a body. I am quantifying it. Okay. See, in in America, assume that you go with a headache. They will immediately ask you, out of ten, tell me what is your headache. your tablet definition depends on how much quantity of tablet is to be given based on whether your headache is close to 10 or close to 0 people will tell oh i have 2.5 headache okay. <laughs> understood so for any prescription any solution i need to measure that's it as simple as that so measure is quantified 
So whole mathematics is measure theory. Shall I read the chapter headings? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Chapter 1, Sets and Classes. Yeah. Portion 1, Set Inclusion, Union and Intersections, Limits, Complements and Differences. Yeah, I have to measure whether the population is more or less. Again, comparison. I am talking about discrete, discrete functions now. Huh. Set is a yeah, discrete function. So, I have to separate all the girls and boys. Whether girls are more or boys are more. Again, quantity measurement only. It's a measure. So, how do you say A, a is a subset of B? That means B is a bigger and A is smaller. You are talking about a big and small. So, you are measuring it. Union of two sets. Measuring, adding together to set to get something bigger. Very simple. Okay, moving on. Limits, complements and differences, rings and algebras. Yeah. Generated rings and sigma rings, monotone classes. Yeah, what is a ring and what is a group? Now, when you talk about a set in which you can define a distance, identify parameters, identify the complements, add some mathematics inside, okay. it becomes a ring. And a, a, and, and a group. A complete group means what? Suppose you talk about only positive numbers. I cannot make it into a group. Because there is no none element. There is no negative elements. So if you add them together, it, it, you know that's how the space is uh, made. Compact space means what? The whole number system is a compact space for addition. Therefore, addition means subtraction is also there. Therefore, zero is also there. But irrational, rational number I should add if I want to multiplication should become an operation. So a complete set means a set in which the negative elements, positive elements, inverse elements in a generic sense. So the whole thing together becomes a complete space. So I have to talk about a Banach space. It is called a Banach space. You are reminding me what I learned probably in 19... <laughs> early in early 1985-84-86. I taught that after that also once or twice. That's it. Yeah. Okay. And my my MSc um, MSc project was defining differential equations in the uh, Banach space. When I can talk about the distance, thought. when I can talk about the distance. I can talk about a function which has got a distance. Therefore, in x-axis there is a function, y-axis there is a distance. So, how x limit tends to 0 makes the slope of y tends to 0 is what is differentiation. Hmm. So, if I have a Banach space, I have a complete space. In complete space, I can metric is defined. Okay. Metric means measurement. So that measurement is defined, then I have got another space in which I have got that measurement defined from one set to another set or one space to another space. If I can have a function, I can differentiate that function. And that in that was my differential equations in Banach space. That is applied in ring theory, that is applied in graph theory, that, that was my uh, uh, math, MSc mathematics. Uh, dissertation work so it's both as actually people learn what is uh, pure mathematics what is applied mathematics but my project was how applied mathematics can be put inside the pure mathematics or vice versa yeah very because very unique very very unique project generally people don't do such uh, very tough it's actually very tough one yeah yeah very tough. so what i have done is i have uh, that's called a degree theory the, the function itself is called a degree theory. So, how do you determine the set of people are there in a house? Now, you can have a metric, the distance between people to people. And you can identify a null element who may not involve in any activity. You divide them, they will come back to him. Because general definition of a set is any, any group can be, any, any set of people can be a group. You know, in which you have to define an operation. 
so such beautiful concepts so it has got philosophy it has got psychology it has got sociology everything can be seen don't think mathematics can be applied only when there is that's why just now i was telling no the pain can be measured the feelings can be measured suppose somebody says i love you you tell me out of 10 what is that no number i, I have a grief i am feeling uh, totally distressed you know i am in anger immediately tell me the measure of anger out of 10 how much <laughs> draw a function with respect to time how did you become from 10 angry full mood to down after some time so there is a curve now think about it. it's used in psychology got it so plenty of applications uh, it's it's a it's a beautiful subject to be learned to me everything looks so beautiful because i see this like this practical applications of things you know yeah when i when i when i used to study the strings in algebra this were really tough for me because my no, for everyone my i think for me for me also it was tough but then for mphil also i told, told uh, learned measure theory but mphil also the teacher was horrible actually he only speaks to board he only look at the book and then write all that and then say that my syllabus is over right no it's horrible most of them i told no i have no i have no um, hesitation or may no reservation is telling most of the mathematics teachers don't understand the philosophical aspect of it applications and practical it's not finding fault uh, i wish somebody listens to this and who are all teachers in um, you know universities or colleges to who are teaching even today it is taught I don't think no scientist would have thought like what the teachers are teaching. They have seen it around them and then seen the application. That's why they developed the theory. Yeah. Right. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Moving on. Chapter 2. Measures and outer measures. So now the main co concept starts. Yeah. Okay. Measure on rings. First portion. Yeah. Measure on intervals. Yeah. Properties of measures. Yeah. Outer measures and measurable sets. Okay. Very good. Now we have what? 0 to minus some number. Okay. Or 0 to plus minus infinity to infinity. 0 to alpha. So definitely when you have measure, integration comes, limit will come. When mu is there or sigma is there, immediately you will say sigma x 1 to 2 with that function. Within that limit only you should do. Correct. So you measure it within this or outside. So sometimes what becomes, it is easier for you to measure outside and then subtract it and then tell the rest is your answer. Got it? So I have a lot of things. No, I am not actually currently getting it into my head. But when I, after this, when I think about that, I might get it. I will tell you, I have a class of, I have a class of things to be measured. I know the total population is this much. Now I want to know. Uh, how many dogs have got uh, madness that is very or how many how many dogs are there on the street it is very difficult for me to measure sometime but instead of that if i know my objective is to find out how many dogs are in the street but i know the whole total population of dogs in kerala i know how many dogs are there inside the house the minus becomes that right so, if I want to learn about a set, I need not talk about the set. I can also talk about what is outside the set and then measure what is inside the set. Because the whole lot is known. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Mm, then, as I have already said, uh, measure on intervals, properties of measures. Properties of measures is like additivity and all. Right? Yeah. Right? How do you how do you add to how do you subtract uh, to how do you find the difference? Generally, it is required when you have got a discrete function. In between, there is nothing to measure. So sometimes you will uh, you know uh, take it as a curve and then identify the area be below that. But you know there is a gap there. So subtract it. So how does it apply within the limit? My between the limits, how do you add them together, subtract them together? All that is required. See, for example, in a very basic set theory, the question can be um, number of people who are uh, no uh, above eighteen years. 
number of people who are married there will be a common function so if you want to say how no. many people are there about 20 who are not married then you need to have the you know minus of one set to no. another set like that no. so that's it so all these properties of set theory will be applicable in measure theory also okay. properties of measures i know a bit because of probability so yeah. probability also has the same similar probability. similar similar yeah yeah uh, either it is probability in statistics or in pure mathematics topology uh, everything uh, is same right. everything is same yeah, even i have heard the topology is really difficult for no, that is because that's what i'm saying again they don't they don't realize it they don't understand they don't look at it they don't see that that's a problem out of measures measurable sets uh, measurable sets so that is the uh, final portion of measures and outer measures then moving on chapter 3 extension of measures so in that it includes properties of induced measures hmm. properties of induced measures extension completion and approximation inner measures Lebeg, Lebeg measure, non-measurable sets. Hmm. That's all. See, uh, I will tell you one of the one of the application. I will tell you. Now, assume that you want to know the whole Kerala. You are identifying the paddy field. It is measurable because everybody knows this much cultivation I am doing. Pepper, rubber, everything you have measured. But then, if you add everything together, it will not become agricultural field. Because there are multiple things, crops put in same place. So, what do you call them? Unclassified agriculture. But if you are just taking the head of all the agricultural land, then... No, there is, the always, land. always understand in statistics and mathematics, there is unclassified class which is called unclassified right i have agriculture land non agriculture land no i have agriculture land so, non agriculture land and unclassified land also which is neither agriculture non used for agriculture but for some other purpose right maybe they are not using it they are not currently having any yeah farming there yeah therefore like there, therefore in every classification but maybe it has agriculture land every classification we do classification on the natural na uh, uh, the resources in india measurable sets oh. so then comes extension of measures hmm. properties of induced measures hmm. induced measures means something that is made into a measure right it is not directly usable or directly which is visible but we are putting it along with something else extension completion and approximation of measures okay inner measure what is what is an inner measure see assume when i have got a, a, a two functions x and y hmm. when i am talking about uh, maybe a variation or a change in that what am i measuring assume that x belongs to y a function is there and I am saying how x changes accordingly the y changes. Indirectly I am measuring what is the velocity. Okay, okay, fine. Correct. So there is something which is inner. How is it changing? My mood is changing from anger to uh, no, violence to silence. There is an inner measure, right? So what do you induce from that? What do you get from that? So apparently you are saying that there is something that is independent of see there are two things one is cause variable that is changing yeah there is there are two things one is cause and effect so the cause induces effect so generally we measure only cause or sometimes we measure only the effect gravity is measured in the effect therefore we know gravity is the cause and we talk about the uh, gravity measure as the, the the gravity which is measured is actually the effect okay but we call it as the cause itself what is gravity it is actually the cause 
but when we are talking about gravity we are not measuring the cause we are actually measuring the effect okay understood so that is what is induced the measure is a beautiful sub see i'll tell you physically when you like to look at like this oh there are a lot of things which reveals in front of you Uh, Lebesgue measure. Yeah, they are all. I don't know. I may not know. If you ask me by name, I may not even remember uh -huh. under the yeah. name. Only I remember some okay. few names like uh, uh, Leo Valley theorem in the uh, complex analysis also has got some uh, applications here. Analysis. Yeah, that has got something in measure also. Okay. I think Lebesgue integration is also there. I don't I'm know. If you tell me the equations or tell me read that function, I will tell. Oh, this is correct. This is what it is. I cannot remember the, because they are not Newton or uh, Einstein. No, that yeah, that, uh, that famous. Yeah. Right. Non-measurable sets. Okay. So, oh, is there any sets that are not measurable? Also? Many, that many, many are not measurable. Okay. Uh, could you give an example? Um, see, when you have a normal set in which you you cannot have um, quantification possible. Such as? The, the water, where do you measure? See, you are only yeah. measuring the volume. Okay. Understood? Yeah. And uh, another one, you put lot of dots. The dot itself is not measurable. How many dots are there inside that basket? It's not measurable actually. The vacant space is but, not measurable. But sometimes, but maybe you can, you can label it as a countably. See, that is why the approximation is also there in measure. Measure is never complete. There is an approximation in measure. Even in mathematics, assume that you are talking about gravity. It's an approximation. Oh. Actually, gravity itself is an approximation. The time measurement is an appro approximation. Okay, but if, if we think like that, most of the things are approximated. Yeah, that is why I'm saying in the philosophy, it's hu hu uh, life-related things when you look at mathematics, everything is, the meter itself is not a measurable thing. Huh. Meter keeps changing from time to time, place to place. See, uh, I am measuring the distance from one place to another place. The place itself is moving along with the world, you know. The earth itself is moving. So, how do you measure? See, there are a lot of things philosophically when you look at it is not measurable. I am not even talking about it. Assume that there is a uh, 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 signal to noise ratio. I will give you an example. Signal to noise ratio. The signal to noise ratio for you to understand it may be the sound. I am talking to you. There is a lot of other noises around which is also coming to you. Right. Very difficult to distinguish between what is signal and what is noise. Hmm. Got it? We have got an image processing. We have take a picture. The atmosphere have got a lot of noises. Okay. Which adds to the picture. I have no method, I have no mechanism to measure the uh, atmospheric effect in the image no method okay. so it, there is i know there is but it is not measurable so we we generally what do you do is we make an estimate what do we do we take a white pl place totally white paint and that's what is called a calibration so what do we calibrate we calibrate from a uh, white paint and then see how much uh, disturbance is there 255 gray value but depends on the camera depends on the place then what do we do we apply that to all the places but need not be because atmosphere is not uniform everywhere okay. see assume that when i am recording with a recorder oh i forgot to record this assume that i record this and then i keep a recorder and then record it so there are many things which cannot be measured uh, do have you heard about heisenberg uh, yeah, do you know who is Heisenberg actually? Heisenberg is a physicist, right? No, but who student? Who student? 
His professor was Einstein. Okay, okay. Like, oh, okay. The Heisenberg is a student of Einstein. When Einstein was explaining E is equal to MC square, Heisenberg stood up and said, you are saying bullshit, it's all wrong, it cannot be believed. Okay. Because you cannot have equations in the equation one side you cannot have uh, velocity of light because that itself is not determined it is not measurable okay. you understood see uh, so in mathematics p is equal to q or maybe p plus q is equal to q plus p is correct but in philosophy p plus q is not q plus p there are so many things which we cannot reverse but in mathematics, everything we can reverse it. Equality can be reversed. That's what we say. It's not correct. That's why I keep saying when you measure from one place to another place, the pla it's not de deterministic and non-deterministic. So many things we have around this world. So what cannot be measured, I can give you thousands of examples like this. Okay. Okay, moving on. Next is measurable functions. In that measures spaces, measure measurable functions. Measure spaces, measurable functions. Then combination of measurable functions. Hmm. Sequences of measurable functions and it goes on like that. Pointwise convergence. Convergence in measure. Next, uh, combinations of measurable functions. Sequences. Okay, I was asking about convergence in measurable yeah see convergence in i told you, you know the function itself is now you you are talking about a calculus function limit so when you talk about limit extends to infinity extends to y extends to the limit comes integral comes there is a convergence now we talk about functions the functions can be 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 1 by 4 when you talk about series sequence convergence the real analysis part of this is where the measure theory not only comes in topology, not only comes in uh, normal, the real uh, real analysis. Understand what is the difference between algebra and analysis? Number of analysis number of comes when when the quantity is infinite, right? Yeah, when when you have to add two or three or number which is countable numbers it becomes algebra when it becomes uncountable it becomes real analysis that is why sequence series all that comes so the difference between algebra and analysis algebra talks about definite mathematics functions addition subtraction multiplication in analysis all these will come operations will come but it comes in a sequence and series therefore limit will come I cannot talk about 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc plus up to infinity. If I add infinity up to n, n tends to infinity. It becomes analysis. So tends to, tends to. That means there is an arrow and then say something either 0 goes to 0 or go to infinity. It becomes. So anything which I can measure in a compact space, the space need not be with the countable elements. When the space becomes uncountable elements, the series and sequence in which I can put, that becomes a measure theory in the real analysis. Okay. Yeah. So, in case of analysis also, analysis also is a kind of approximation, right? Uh, and that is why I said measure is always an approximation. Next question, uh, sorry, next topic, integrable simple functions, Yeah. sequences of integrable simple functions, integrable function, sequences of integrable functions. Properties. So here what do you do if you say uh, integration of sin x, integration of cos x, integration of, uh, integration of sin x, we can immediately from 0 to something which will come like this. Therefore, up to infinity, how much it will become and how is it behaving? Everything we do it in trigonometric functions, 
which are approximate um, why do you use lot of trigonometric functions because it's approximate like a curve okay so it's like a wave so anything is like a wave function electromagnetic energy whichever is either sound or anything which happens physically also can be approximated by sine cos and maybe r r square r cube etc etc in a uh, you no know, function wise correct so all these approximations added together put them together is what is my measure so calculus will come into part real analysis will come into part if i have got an equation immediately i write the cos function sin function integrate them together so to some extent i will put a limit function within this this is how it behaves after that this is how it behaves so it's a combination of multiple set multiple functions add them together is what is my real measurement okay next is signed measures han and jordan decomposition mm. absolute continuity mm. Yeah, decomposition generally will be like the Stieltjes integral. What I said, you know, you assume that you wanted to see whether the curve is positive or not, or negative or not. Cut them into pieces and see from this end to this end whether the slope is changing. Again, cut them into pieces to see whether the slope is changing, whether it is what way it is behaving, so that I can club them together and then add. then some other theorem also the so therefore what will happen the measure of a function will become the countable measures of measure will come into picture now okay because then i am i am, I am uh, some, some of, of some of functions of functions some of measures of measures will come okay so, so what will happen is mu of i remember mu of in bracket you will put union of so many measures mm -hmm. okay of sign measure set functions and point functions hmm heuristic introduction independence series of independence independent functions hmm then the law of large numbers like in statistics there is law of large numbers right hmm conditional probabilities and expectation now oh, here conditional probability see that is why i told you <laughs> measure theory covers everything under the world okay. but but i haven't uh, we did not have this one as a paper in our so actually uh, you talk it as a probability space hmm. see here no. we don't cop uh, we don't generally call it as it's called a probability space and you have lot of probability axioms hmm. and dirac measure the delta functions the indicator functions all that becomes part of it so it can come in topology it can also come in uh, probability then uh, measures and product spaces hmm. product space i don't know hmm. topological lemmas borel set is something that i i guess we did learn that i cannot recollect borel sets and bayer sets what is that borel sets no idea then regular measures generation of borel measures regular contents classes of continuous functions see function. um in between only all that's what you read only why could catch that product space you say that you have got a cartesian space right hmm. 
in the Cartesian space, that means x axis and y axis, you can define a function and then talk about the topology of that. And that topology which is defined in the Cartesian space, create a space in which you can define measures, you can define such uh, measurement because there is an x axis and y axis, there is a measure. So that topology is called the product topology. The product topology, the product topology is like um, if I have to measure the what is topology which says I, I can have a ring in which the number of faces are two. Okay, so how do you measure this from every point you put a projector to the ground to the x axis or y axis you keep a globe there and then put everything it will come into two different spaces. Or maybe multiple clusters will come. Got it? So, the projection of any any three dimension or maybe any space, you put it onto a one dimension or two dimension, you get a picture which is actually the function becomes a product. This is a source and that's a range. So, you instead of analyzing in the space, you are analyzing on the, the projection part of it. Just like the inter integral curve. Yeah, it's like an integral curve or be a projection. That's what is in the in the topological place. It is called a product topology. Okay. Okay. Next is regular measures. Boral measures is actually included in statistics. I don't know what is boral measure. Boral set. Boral measures. Then classes of continuous function, linear functionals, etc. Hmm. Then the next topic is hard measure. What is that? Har, har, har is there, no? Har garland. Okay. Spelling har measure. Full subgroups, existence, measurable groups, and uniqueness. Full subgroups, existence, measurable groups, uniqueness. These four comes under the HAR measure. What is HAR measure? H A A R HAR? I don't know exactly. No, what is the spelling you tell me? H W A R. Oh, H W A R. That ah. is that is that is used for example. Assume that I have to um, measure on the on the ground it comes in geography okay. suppose you want to is, measure is it the name of a scientist or something or? i don't know why is it called the har measure um, okay. which i can measure uh, a topographic map a topological uh, surface i am measuring and then take a uh, uh, under that how much area volume is there I know the center so I can project it and then take a cone and then say, oh, this much is there. Like if I have got a, so if I have got a globe, if I have to, object, if I have got a globe, say I have got a globe, I have got a watermelon. Hmm. How much volume you want, I will ask you. Or maybe the weight of the piece which I wanted to serve you have to be measured. How do I mathematically do it? I know it's an ellipsoid, right? I can take two ellipsoid and then put a center and then estimate oh this is where the center is and make a, a triangle or something there or a square from there and then I can project it internally and carve it out and take and give it to you. Fine. <coughs> so how much area I have to measure on top of it is measured from how much depth it has to go inside so that I can make this volume out. So I am estimating. This is also like an estimation, right? But when I am I am making it in the center of the uh, watermelon, maybe I am taking from here. It may be different from somewhere. It will be different because the depth is do not same throughout, right? So he, I mean, uh, I don't know whether he is a person or not, but uh, that is how it is measured. You will have to search and find out. Yeah, it is a name. 
Alfred Haar in 1933. The special cause for a like groups had been introduced by the Adolf Hitler. Yeah, that's how it is. That's how it is. I remember when we wanted to talk about the uh, geographical part of it, we talk about this. The earth is, earth is one of the best examples. Right. The projection need not be same. See, for example, I want a land to be purchased. I cannot just take a 100 meter by 100 meter and then say I got uh, uh, 10,000 meter square as an area. You know why? The area is not a flat terrain. Area is not a flat terrain. Suppose the area is like a valley. I cannot take a 100 meter by 100 meter. I will get more area. So the curve need to be considered. <laughs> Got it. So this is used in cadastral survey. Survey people knows how to cut this into segment it into pieces and then measure it. Okay. See, very it is not that easy. Like to become a surveyor to measure the land is not very easy. Mm -hmm. He has to know many things. Otherwise, you can put two sticks on both end. And then put a straight line and then say 100 meter by 100 meter it is 10,000. But assume that it's like a valley. He will get how much more land than what he is purchasing actually. So he has to cut along with the slope. That survey is called a cadastral survey. Uh, can you spell it? Cadastral. C A D. Cadastral survey. Cadastral. You can see L I S S. -S LIS. This is the land information systems. These functions are coming in the land information system. L I S may be the C A D A S T R A L cadastral cadastral or survey or land information system L I S. So my expertise is in this. So what we do is there these principles of har is used. So I, I remember hearing these words. But I never knew that, but he was a scientist, yeah. Alfred Har, 1933. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the last portion is measure and topology improves. Finished topology already. I told no. I don't know. Did I tell you the topology contradictions and all that? Are you talking to me or somebody else? It's muted. Uh, suddenly, one of my family member came and was, uh, was asking something. Okay. So, um, so actually, uh, I'm I'm in need or there. I'm needed there. Okay. So good enough. So your whole subject is over. Whole index is over, right? Now with this concept in mind you start reading I am sure it will become much more easier. So it's very simple actually when you physically look at it it becomes so simple for you. Okay. Right. Okay doctor.